Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Will the Justice Department dismiss federal felony charges against Trump? This is a question that has been on many minds lately, especially given the recent election results. To understand the situation, it's important to break down the current cases against Trump. He is facing several federal and state level charges. At the federal level, Trump has been indicted on four felony charges related to his efforts to overturn the 2020 election, including the events leading up to the January 6, 2021 siege on the U.S. Capitol. A trial date was set for March 2024, but it has been delayed due to the Supreme Court's involvement and the consideration of what actions constitute official acts versus private conduct. Another significant case involves Trump's alleged hoarding of classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago resort. This case has seen its share of twists, with Judge Aileen Cannon dismissing it in July, citing constitutional issues with the special counsel's appointment. The Justice Department is currently seeking a review by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit. Now, considering the impact of Trump's election victory on these cases, a long-standing Justice Department policy suggests that a sitting president cannot be indicted or prosecuted because it would undermine the executive branch's ability to perform its duties. This policy, established in 2000, indicates that prosecuting a sitting president is unconstitutional. Given this context, it is highly likely that the federal cases against Trump will be dismissed or delayed. Special Counsel Jack Smith is already taking steps to wind down these cases before the president-elect takes office. Trump's victory at the polls and the aforementioned Justice Department policy make it probable that the federal election interference case in Washington, D.C. and the classified documents case will not proceed as initially planned. The combination of Trump's election win and existing Justice Department policies points strongly towards the dismissal or delay of the federal felony charges against him. As the situation unfolds, it will be interesting to see how these cases are ultimately handled. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.